As played by Brando, Don Corleone had an almost saintly, certainly heroic aspect to him. Do you agree with that kind of approach to the character? I totally disagree with that. Brando said the head of the mafia is no her worse than the head of DuPont or the head of General Motors. Well, that may be, but uh, you may go away and lose your career with the head of DuPont or the head of General Motors. You may lose a lot. You may be ruined if they, if they want to excommunicate you, but you don't lose your life one-to-one, -one. and there's a difference. And to me, they're not as bad because they don't kill one-to-one -one the way those guys do. And, and I, uh, Brando's a great actor, what can I say? But like I was told by a guy that knew Lucky Luciano and his father, they traveled all around Sicily when he was a little boy. They took him out. It was a great, it was a great uh, privileged thing to be taken around by the head of the organized crime. And his father was in organized crime. But he said one time, he can remember his father, just like out of the blue arbitrarily, just turning the dinner table over in a fit of I would like to have seen that from someone like Brando's character. I'd like to have seen that one-to-one -one violence that's there, you know. And he, he didn't, can't play him like an administrative guy. He didn't want to do it, or Coppola didn't see it as his vision? I don't know. I think he didn't want to say the line that a, a man with a briefcase can, is more, can steal more or is more lethal than a man with, than 100 men with guns pertaining to my character. If you really think that the head of the uh, DuPont is, is as bad as the head of the mafia, then play him bad. You know, I think it was muted that way. I mean, Marlon's a great actor. What can I say? He's a truly, amazingly gifted man. But you know, and you got to show. You really got to. If you're going to, if you, if you're going to show that, you really got to show it. And maybe there wasn't as much in evidence as there should be. I was about to come up and wake you just now and tell you. What you need is a drink first. Now you've had your drink. They shot Sonny on the causeway. He's dead. I want no acts of vengeance. I want you to arrange a meeting with the heads of the five families. This war stops now. I think it's a romantic treatment of that subject matter, but I think what Coppola did was brilliant. There's one executive who said, well, I helped with this film, I did this, I did that. The film would have been made, as long as it was under, you know, directed by Coppola, it could have been under uh, Disney, it could have been under anybody's auspices, as long as he was at the helm. And he did tremendous work, and I think they are American classics. I think they are, I, f I don't think they maybe at times have the, the it, it's interesting because two of your top directors are Italian-Americans, Sorsese and, uh, mm -hmm. I think the long, I think right now Sorsese's more in, He's a little more productive and a little more... A little more in bloom right now. Yeah, in bloom. I think, for whatever reasons, there's been a waning in, in, in Coppola's career. But his early work, you know, was tremendous. And, and yet, on the other hand, what Circeci's done is a little more of the real nitty-gritty of those guys. I think, once again, maybe it's a little bit of a romantic slice of life, the guys in The Godfather. But tremendous movie-making, I think. I turned on Godfather 2 maybe two months ago down, you know, all by myself where I live, I have a little farm in Virginia, and I, just, I said, oh yeah, that's Godfather 2, I was in that, I remember this, bop, 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 bop. I said, let me, I'm switching channels. Well, an hour and a half later, I, I, I didn't switch one channel. I mean, th this movie really held me, and I, this is tremendous movie making, I said, and it's been many years since it was made. So those two were, I mean, you know, it's about as good as you can do.